when you have people singing all together as one voice, it is truly beautiful. I think this has been like such an amazing opportunity to be able to express my love for singing and also express my faith. To see how this initiative of bringing chant to schools has been able to be expanded across the Archdiocese and the schools. 800 children here singing all Gregorian chant from centuries and music from spanning many centuries. It's a great opportunity for the children of our diocese. Today I did the reading. I've been very lucky to be able to learn in the Ubilate Dare Choir and being able to sing to God in a way that people have sung for thousands of years. I love singing and this really takes me a step forward in my passion and the Jubilate Day Choir just makes me feel like I am having a stronger connection with my love and my God. It's something that's been in the um, church for ages, so it's kind of bringing back old traditions. And I also got the opportunity to learn how to conduct our choir, which was challenging at first, but was really fun in the end. Oh, my favourite part was a mess was that we sang Magnificent, and it was really, it was really good. The program has been named after a 1974 document of Pope Paul VI uh, entitled Jubilate Deo uh, and it's this core repertoire of sacred music that we have taught the students and they have now come together and experienced it in a liturgical context with uh, the bishop uh, in this beautiful cathedral of St Mary's. Over the past year it's been beautiful to watch the transformation in the students and the staff at my school as they come to realize that the liturgical life of the church is at the heart of all that we are and all that we do. Pope Francis in Evangelii Gaudium reminds us that when one encounters beauty, one encounters the Lord himself. And this morning, I think we would all agree that we were moved by the experience that we had, and it certainly was an encounter with the divine. I thank them and I thank their tutors and their teachers and I look forward to the expansion of this program in 2024.